I think so. We you have heard probably from your customers or or your shippers that now Mexico since 2012 in June 2012, um, Mexico made it mandatory that everybody have to replace paper with digital information, and they have a single window that we know it as Busem because of the initials in Spanish for the single window for uh, the international trade in Mexico. On this, when you log into this uh, application in Mexico that belongs to the IRS in Mexico, here as the importer, as an exporter, or as a broker, we can log in to all the other government agencies that Mexico has and comply with all their non-tariff regulations, you know, get permits, um, uh, transmit the, the information of the invoice, um, send e-documents, electronic documents such as NAFTA certificates, back and list. So this is just one site that everybody logs in to comply with the paper list and transmit digital information. Um, most of the files go in the XML um, form that it can be read later on. Well, this portal is, uh, an, uh, is for the trade community, exclusively for submitting information and also for paying uh, any permit or any inspection that you have to do prior to your border crossing. Obviously, um, this tool helps the government to have a better control of what's going on in the trade and also has more visibility in all the documents and all the permits and uh, gather more better statistics on what's going on. So with that, and uh, we would like to go and see uh, the requirements that we do, what we do briefly in Busem. One of the things that we do prior um, at the same time that we're inspecting the merchandise is transmitting the commercial invoice, the shipper's invoice or, you know, northbound or southbound. This goes for both uh, shipments. Here, we have to transmit in electronic way all the information that your supplier or the shipper provides in their invoice. It has to be uh, obviously date, no, um, reference invoice, all the line by line of your the invoice. We have to declare the part numbers, serial numbers. If you like, if you have books, the ISBN, anything that identifies the merchandise, we transmit it in this document with unit prices and uh, origins. The certificate origin also is being transmitted through this uh, website. Also permits, license, certifications, all the letters that we require to the importers to declare, everything to this um, website of the BUSEM is being transmitted. As brokers, we have programs that we don't have to log in uh, individually on the website, but we communicate and transmit to them uh, through our systems that gather all the information. Uh, for Mexican exportation, as going uh, a little note for northbounds, if you are bringing merchandise from Mexico, in 2014, Mexico said, you know what, everybody in Mexico that is making a sale, it's required to making a final sale, it's required to transmit their invoices in an electronic manner, and we call it the CFDI, Digital Internet Tax Receipt. Also, the shipper in Mexico will have to transmit with all the requirements an invoice has, has to transmit electronically, and that way the IRS in Mexico is notified that, okay, you made this sale and you're expecting to get paid or you're already being paid uh, because you already transmit an income receipt, like we call it, an invoice. 
And if you see in the bottom of the screen, you should have each seller, uh, each vendor have their own reference, their consecutive number that is an internal control. Now in Mexico, that number is it's given another string of, dish, of uh, numbers and letters to identify that transmission. So we don't declare any more invoices numbers or internal uh, numbers that are only for purposes of the companies who issue it. Now the government assigns a very a particular number to each commercial invoice. So and that was in 2014. Everybody in Mexico who makes a sale, doesn't matter if it's going to be for trade purposes, for export or purposes, or just domestic, had to do that. But in July 2016, the government, the Mexican government says, now all this tax receipts with that long string of uh, numbers that is being provided by them, by the SAT, by the IRS, now you have to submit it and declare it on your export pedimento, on your export uh, customs declaration. So something that was internal now, it became uh, an obligation also for the exporters in Mexico to transmit. In other words, the government wants to know if you do a final sale, if this is gonna go for consumption to another country, uh, we would like to have it recorded in in our IRS uh, systems, even though the sale hasn't occurred yet, but we the exporters are giving this information to the IRS and the brokers. We are transmitting that code so it can match the customs entry with the invoice. So that was new in 2016. By now, most of the exporters are getting used to provide that information. Um, the only exception is when you're sending temporarily items that are not for sale, so you are not obligated on this one. 